Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about INFJ politeness and when it's time to stop. Um, so as an INFJ, and obviously all types can be polite, I think politeness plagues the INFJ specifically, and I think this has to do with the way our cognitive cognitive functions lie, and if we're going to talk in Myers-Briggs terms. Um, INFJs lead with introverted intuition, and I. Um, the second function is extroverted feeling, FE. The tertiary function, or the third function, is um, introverted thinking, TI. And the final function is extroverted sensing, SE. So, that being said, most of the time we do come across as very introverted, but there is a flip, flip side to that because INFJs have been seen as the most extroverted introverts. And for anybody that knows me in real life, I think they would be able to agree with that um, as far as friends go. Um, because I do have quite a few friends, um, spe especially in Georgia, and I organized a lot of the events or parties or stuff or social events or whatever that we would have. Um, and I genuinely love people. But there's this politeness that tends to plague the INFJ. And obviously we have control over it, but it's just something that comes second like nature. And anybody that has extra feeling to a certain degree, um, well, everybody does in some way, but as a primary function or a secondary function, the creative function, they would be able to relate to this better, but not as a sense of the group mentality, do unto others as you would do unto yourself, um, having, trying to keep the harmony um, in a situation and trying to avoid conflict at all costs. INFJs do this so often. Um, and because of that, we are able to navigate socially. And even though we may come across, especially for people that just meet us, as pretty introverted or maybe the type that wouldn't necessarily be um, the center of social events or really seek that stuff out. There comes to a t there comes a time and place where when people get close to us, um, at least for the most part, I'm not saying all INFJs are like this, but for the most part, INFJs are pretty well liked people, and this does have to do with the politeness. And what I mean by this is. I could see how some people could see it as like a white lie or um, insincere, but I think a good example of this is actually um, an interview that I saw with Andrew Garfield and the actress that was in The Great Gatsby, she played Daisy, can't think of her name right now, she's a very famous actress, but anyways, Andrew Garfield is allegedly an INFP. And um, that actress is allegedly an INFJ. And at least from the interview, and I'm not saying that she is an INFJ, because personally I think you can only really determine that when you get to know someone um, very closely, um, or at least be pretty 100% about that. But for this, for the sake of this conversation, let's pretend she is an INFJ. In that interview, Andrew Garfield kind of runs away with the interview um, and he doesn't really allow her to put too much input into the interview, or at least from what you're seeing in the video. But 
when he's asking, I forget what he said to her, but he said something like, oh, am I, like, is this okay? Like, oh, da da da. She would kind of say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as just a human being, if someone's running away with a conversation in that way, I understand that someone's passionate about a subject. That's not really something that most people would take very lightly. Um, well, maybe they would. It's not really that big of a deal, but but it maybe the way they addressed it would be different than how she addressed it in that situation. And that's such a famous INFJ response is to reassure someone and I think a lot of this politeness does stir out of reassurance. We want, or at least I want, and a lot of INFJs want, um, people to feel like their their thoughts are being understood and we are listening to them um, because I truly do care about people. but. There are certain times um, and certain situations that I've been in, and I was talking to other INFJs about this, and they've been in situations like this where, for some reason, people want, let's say, alternative lifestyles. Um, I've done this a lot. Like, basically, well, even in high school, which, if you knew me in high school, um, I found this. I found this out later that a lot of people at my high school were doing like drugs and alcohol outside of school. Almost everybody I know, um, or I found out, had at least drank alcohol. And I'm not saying that that's bad, um, but something I never even thought about doing in an underage environment or in high school. But. That being said, I was a pretty goody-goody person, um, even more so than I am now, and I didn't really hang out with too many people. I had a few friends that I would see, and one friend, um, I referred to her in my IMTJ video, um, my friend Rachel. I have a lot of Rachel friends, but she's the IMTJ Rachel. Um, I would see her, like, every weekend or every other weekend and we would hang out or have a sleepover or something like that. But other than that, I did not hang out with people so I was not exposed to those kind of things in high school. I didn't go to parties, I only went to birthday parties or like Halloween parties that were like family parties. So that being said, I was someone that was a very innocent person in a lot of ways um, and for some reason people that were heavily into some alternative lifestyles at my school um, and even more so in college would approach me and talk about those alternative lifestyles and for me I'm there's certain things that I am more open to than others but the extreme side of things I am not open to, um, but I will listen to you and I will let people talk about those things, but for some whatever reason people really are gravitated to me and other INFJs that I've talked to. And um, I think a lot of people, and I've noticed this with other types, people would kind of write those people off and just be like, oh well, hey can you go away? Like can you stop talking to me or something like that um, and I'm not saying that's not a bad thing because in some ways I wish I was more like that but I would I have appeased the situation more than I should have and I've kind of let people talk about certain things that I felt very uncomfortable with um, just so I didn't uh, disrupt the harmony or what I saw as my whatever that extroverted feeling harmony is. Um, and this can be very, this can be seen as inauthentic, especially for high introverted feelers. Um, 
or even people that have more of a preference for introverted feeling than extroverted feeling. So, for example, my sister, she's an ISTJ. I know I've talked about her before. Um, she is, well, she's told me so many times um, where I am too nice to people that I shouldn't be nice to or I shouldn't talk to people, certain people because her, the way she would deal with situations is a completely different than me. Um, her nat natural inclination is to ignore the person and walk away and just, or just kind of be a little bit snappy towards them. Whereas with me, I do not have that tendency and I want to have people feel like they're being heard. Um, I do want to talk about this more in the future. The thing that I would say when enough is enough is when it becomes a situation, and I've talked about this in the door slam video that I made, but when it becomes a little too much to handle, um, and I, I really don't think that you should let it get to this point, but if you are an INFJ, you probably have let it, you have had it got, I can't even talk, oh my gosh. It probably has gone to this point at some time, at some point, and I'm not saying other people haven't, um, but we are just natural, I don't know, like, disaster attractors I'm, I'm not sure but when you're in those kind of situations there's a certain point where being polite or being passive can be detrimental um, not too long ago and I don't think this person's watching but if they are okay um, I was extremely passive with someone and I just didn't want conflict with this individual. And this individual would push and push and push and push until um, they got a reaction. And I don't think they got the reaction that they wanted because I rarely get upset. Um, the only people I truly get upset with um, or I'm really able to get upset with is maybe a bad guy, but um, good friends and family uh, and that's because I really do care about them but for the most part I do not get upset with people unless it's a very um, serious thing but this person did a get a reaction out of me and this was months ago um, in another situation and I feel like I have to address this but I do have a moderator on this channel now because Certain people have gone a little out of hands, and I'm not saying that the majority of you guys are this way, and I think the majority of you guys are amazing, and you would never be like this, but there was a certain individual, um, I, and this is, I wouldn't even say it's polite, I was just kind of being a little stupid, um, I, I guess I wanted to believe that, well, I do believe most people are good. And I'm not saying this person's a bad person, but I said in my video that I would, if you added me on a friend, added me as a friend on Facebook, that I would accept it. And so far I have, but this person is a more recent person that's added me and their behavior has been very questionable. Um, and I had to block this individual from my channel, um, but also block them from basically every social media and because they were pushing and pushing. And again, I wasn't getting upset, but they were, for whatever reason, got upset by the way in which I message and I've said this before I'm not the most animated mes messenger but I feel like I shouldn't have to 
justify that. Um, I, I expect respect out of people and I expect people to respect others. And unfortunately, I won't be able to add anybody on Facebook anymore. Um, or, I mean, you can still message me on Instagram or whatever. I'm not gonna add anybody on Snapchat either, um, just because for my own safety, and I'm not saying that he, well, I said that it was a guy, but anyways, he is. I'm not saying that he would do anything bad, but just for my own safety, I don't want that kind of situation. Um, so the comments are going to be moderated a little bit more. Also, um, thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. That was absolutely amazing. And I hope I hope that this video made sense. I know a lot of my videos I say that, but again, I don't script anything, so it's kind of just coming out. So hopefully you were able to get something out of this, and I definitely will address this topic just like so many other topics that I feel like I haven't completely addressed in the future. And if you have any questions, I'll answer them in the comments below. But as kind of a funny, I guess, lighthearted thing. So I'm going to um, link the video of Andrew Garfield and that actress that I can't think of her name in the description box. But I'll also um, link one of my old channels. Um, this has a lot of, this, I think the oldest I was on this um, channel. I think I was either, I think the oldest I was on this channel, I think I was 17 or something. So it was quite a while ago. I was in high school, so what, seven years ago, six years ago? Um, or wow, no, whoa, that's like, oh my gosh, I'm old. That's like eight or nine years ago. No, no, it's not. False alarm. Yes? No? Maybe? Anyways, um, I was quite a bit younger. Um, I'm 24, almost 25 now. Anyways, um, so... Yeah, I'm gonna link that, those videos in the comments below. Well, not the videos, the channel. So you guys can get a little laugh out of that and see what I was like and my little silly videos. Um, they are definitely interesting to say the least. Um, and I actually have a Great Gatsby video on there um, where one of my friends plays Daisy and I play, I forget her name, Myrtle, is that her name? Anyways. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm sorry that this video kind of had a little negativity in it. Um, that being said, I hope that things do get better with the channel as far as, like I said, most people are really good and nice, but I can't tolerate certain behaviors and I think that ties really well into the politeness. There's only so much politeness that can happen. and. This is, there's a certain point where I just draw the line. So, hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.